everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. We got a messy kitchen. We got bad hair days. It's cool. We got redness. It's life. I'm not apologizing for anything because this is it. This is real life. This is me. Hello. Okay, we have a homeworks haul today. I haven't purchased anything from homeworks in a while. Things were not sparking my interest. It really just was like, meh, I don't really need anything. Um, but then they had a very good sale and some thing returned. Ooh, sweet spring melon. <laughs> and I just, I caved, I caved, caved and cracked like an egg. I was doing so good, so well, but it's fine. It's totally fine. So let's jump into it. I will start with this one, which is basically the whole reason that I purchased this. I think I got these for like 16 bucks a piece. They were on sale for, I think, I think they were like 20 bucks, free shipping, plus you could use, you know, the, the codes that people have. So I think I wound up getting these for, for like 16 bucks, 16, 17 dollars. Maybe they were on sale for 18. I don't know, they were on sale. Okay, that's all that really matters. So Sweet Spring Melon, this is a returning scent. This one was in a duo with, uh, it was pink. I don't remember, it was in a hobnail jar. I have one left of the Sweet Spring Melon. I may have one left of the whatever the pink one was. I'll have to check my stash. But anyway, I really, really enjoyed this scent. This one was a great performer. I loved, loved, loved the whole thing. I loved it all. So this is this year's packaging. He brought it back. I love the peekaboo, like cut out packaging here with, you can see the, the pale orange wax. This is ripe honeydew melon, watermelon, cucumber, and water lily. There's no water lily in this. No, ma'am. This is such juicy <sighs> melon goodness. You get a lot of the honeydew and cantaloupe, and that's really a smidge of the watermelon. Is there water? Yeah, watermelon. Oh, there's no cantaloupe. I don't know where I got that from. That's what I meant. I meant the honeydew and the watermelon. I'm looking at the cantaloupe, so that's why. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, this is a cantaloupe, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Interesting that cantaloupe is all over it and there's no cantaloupe in the fragrance. But anyway, you get a lot of the honeydew and the watermelon. Hey, cucumber. Mm. Definitely not any water lily that I smell to my nose. It's just a really great melon scent. It smells like the guts of this melon right here. And it is so beautiful. It's so nice for spring and summer. I think I actually burned this in the fall of this year because it was like warm one day and I just wasn't ready to let summer go yet. And I pulled one of these bad boys out and it's just, it's great. It smells to my recollection. It smells pretty much exactly the same as it did in the old hobnail packaging. I think it smells the same. This one smells a lot like watermelon, but the other one I felt like was a little heavier on honeydew, but it doesn't matter. It smells relatively the same and I enjoy it. So that one's good. I picked up one of these. Then I picked up this one, which I've had my eye on for a bit. This is Sun Kissed Lemon. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, so he had a, a duo of iced tea and lemonade. Now I know this is not a dupe for the lemonade, but his, that duo was like my all time favorite duo ever. And I'm praying that he brings it back. But because he released this lemon this year, probably not till next year. This is Sunkissed Lemon, Fresh Orange, Pineapple, and Peach. And you just know that I love me some citrus. I had to try it. And people have been saying that this is good. So remove all this. Beautiful yellow wax. Ooh. Okay. Okay, queen. Get down with your bad self. Ooh, this is like a sugared lemon. Sun-kissed lemon. <laughs> Fresh orange, pineapple, and peach. Ah, there's like a note in here. And I don't know if it's one of the notes in here, but it smells, it's got like a sugared lemon vibe. And then something else deep in there that I can't put my finger on, but I really like it. Maybe it's, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I wouldn't classify this as a cleaner lemon. This is definitely not a bakery lemon. This is lemon zesty, a little bit sugary. Yum, that's really nice. <laughs> oh, 
oh damn, that's gonna drive me insane. You, I just, that always happens. You smell something and it's like right at the tip of your tongue. You know you smelled it, but you can't tell what it is. I don't know what it is. Oh, maybe like a citronella? I don't know. It doesn't smell like a citronella candle, but this is a nice lemon fragrance with something else to it. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna be like laying in bed about to fall asleep tonight and I'll be like, excuse me, I'm like, that's what it is. That's what it smells like. That one's good. I enjoy that one, I do. Then he released this line of like basic fragrances and I mean that nicely. I mean basic, like it's like a one note thing. So I picked up coconut and the packaging on here is very, ooh, this one's chipped. Oh wait, no, it's just got something very sticky on it. Um, this packaging is like matte, feels very luxe and luxury. So this is the coconut and it's exotic coconuts handpicked from around the world. Tonga, Bali, and Indonesia are blended to create a sensory experience that is pure tropical and calming. And that's basically what the scent notes say, same thing. So I really enjoy coconut scents. I like plain coconut or coconut cream scent. I don't like suntanny coconut, that's not my vibe. So I was very interested to see this one. And I waited until some people kind of got it into sniff it because I really wanted to make sure it wasn't suntanny. And thankfully, nobody has said that, which is very good news. And it's it's gotten really good praise. Um, people saying that they really like it and it smells good. So this one has some interesting things going on. It's got like these weird pockets of yellow kind of scattered. I don't know if that is from, oh, you can really see it there. Like it's kind of around the wicks, but the wicks are very thin. Let me see. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I'm hoping these are not going to give me problems. You can see the difference in wicks. These ones are real thin. These ones are a little bit thicker. I'm hoping they don't give me problems. Please, please, please. So anyway, onto the scent. Ooh, this is nice. Not suntanny at all, which is good. It is creamy, but without being like a coconut cream pie. That's real nice. This does smell like like a luxury coconut. <laughs> Almost of like you were gonna use like um like a coconut like lotion or body wash from a really nice fancy hotel. It's it's not like perfumey or anything, but like it just gives me that vibe. Like it's just a very luxurious tropical coconut scent. I really like this. Oh, the more I smell it the more I, I really, really enjoy this one. That's nice. That is so good. Oh man, that is, that reminds me of like vacation. Like, a, like, oh. Yeah, this smells like something we would, I would smell at the resort that we go to. And it's like a bougie resort. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Okay, that one, that one's a winner. And it's pretty strong. Again, I was a little nervous. Like coconut can be, lightly scented. They also have a vanilla one in that line and a sandalwood, but the vanilla one had not good things being said about it. So I was like, mm, skirt, no, well, no, thank you. And sandalwood, mm, it's not totally my vibe. So I picked up the linen instead. Oh, that coconut one though, oh my goodness. So this one's blue and it's got the mat, very pretty. Flax, oh, I thought I read that wrong. Flax flowers cultivated from around the world, Ireland, Italy, and Belgium are blended to create a sensory experience that is pure, simple, and refreshing. I don't know what the heck a flax flower is, like a flax seed. Ooh, I had to take a little sneak peek sniff, couldn't hold it in anymore. Beautiful color wax, just gorge. It matches literally perfectly. And this one has the nice thick wicks, which is looking good. And this is a very pretty linen scent. Now I was nervous because I really didn't read that it said flax flowers online. I was just like, okay, I like linen, but some linens can be very, very perfumey and floral heavy. And I just don't really know where they get that, but I guess cause cotton flower. But anyway, 
this smells sort of like a, have you, if you've ever smelled clean cotton from Bath and Body Works, it's similar to that. Not a dupe, not the same, not nothing like that. It is like, it is similar to that. But well, this one's a little bit way tamed down, a little bit smooth. It really kind of smells like cotton blossom now that I'm smelling it. Again, not a dupe, but super, super similar. Mmm. It's a little light. Okay, once I get in there, it's not so bad. I also could be going nose blind because I've been standing here smelling it for a couple minutes. But yeah, okay. That's good. That's nice. I really enjoy this one. I really, really do. This one is good. It is not super florally. It's not, there's just very specific laundry that I like. And this, this is good. I like the very soapy laundry. This is not very soapy. I like that very like dryer sheet. That's not this either. This really truly smells like, like a cotton blossom It. It, or it's, it was also I think called seaside cotton from Bath and Body Works if you smell them it's got that vibe like it's similar 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 not the same and that is everything that I picked up for this homeworks haul it's a smaller one I'm totally fine with that I loved the free shipping I loved the price I loved the fact that you could use coupons like influencer codes and everything and I got some rewards points for this so if you're not signed up for the rewards program totally do it the next, maybe I'm going to, I think I might save them for Black Friday, maybe, I'm not sure. But I have like $20 in rewards, which that's a lot. That's like a free candle at this rate. So let me know down below if you've purchased anything from Homeworks recently. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you have, let me know if you've got any of these ones. If you've tried these, let a girl know. I would just love to chat with you guys. Thank you all so, 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 so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.